Should have camped near that little creek. It was so perfect. Nah, you'll need a good night's sleep after all this. And the car's just like half a mile down the path. This place makes for a pretty cool bedroom, though. Man, I'm beat. Oh, sorry. Just got one last thing to show you guys. I can't get enough of this place. <sighs> <sighs> Come on, Daniel. Give me your hand. <clears throat> Slow down, Mom. You walk too fast. More walk, less talk. Then you'll pass Move, me Daniel. Guys, check this out. Now this is nature's art. It's so big and pretty. And so quiet, except for the birds of prey. Shh. Serious? If we're lucky, yeah. Oh! 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 Uh oh! I hear a wolf. Oh! Better be careful of hunters out here. Oh, whatever. The Wolf Brothers aren't afraid of any hunter. You must hide all the time, Mom. There's not a lot to do, but it's enough for me. Good thing Joanne likes to come with me. Oh, I bet she would be fun to go hiking with. Well, not when I go too fast. She's all about the journey. We usually find a good pace. Uh, <laughs> usually. Joanne is like Sean. They make huh. art, so they stop to look at stuff. You're way more like me. Fast. Yeah, I am like you, Daniel. So let's hurry up. I love to come here to get away from <laughs> away. I bet. It's the best spot. <laughs> Let's sit down. So, hey, I do appreciate that you guys stuck around this long. Thank you. It was good to get to know you better. See your life. This place is pretty cool. It's like Fairy Road, but nicer. I got to learn about living in a desert, hiking canyons, counting stars. Yeah, You're boy. a natural born explorer. It's hard to believe you two are actually out here with me. I was lucky we had this chance. Just know I love both of you so much. I know you had it rough lately, but it'll be better when you're settled. Mm -hmm. 
by the way, um, if you wanted to, you could come with us to Mexico. That would be cool. I would love to come see you settled into a new home. You're almost there. But I have to be upfront with both of you. What happened in Haven Point is catching up on us. Huh? What do you mean? When we were in town, uh, we saw some stories in the papers. The feds are definitely tracking us down in the region. Shit. And they'll find us. Well... Figures. This can to last forever. So... This is it? See you, Nana. We'll leave tomorrow. Can you hand me that bag, Sean? That's why I brought you back here. I made these for the 4th of July, but this is better. Oh! I love those things! Are you guys all set up to leave? No. Yeah. No. Oh. So that's we have to leave again. Why can't everybody leave us alone? Oh, oh honey. What are you gonna do now? Take off and hide? Not this time. I can't just run from this forever. So I'll do what I have to, to help you. It won't be easy crossing that border. 
So I'm going to give you a head start on the police. Wait, how? What's your plan? The cops are after me too, for what happened in Nevada. So they can catch me instead of you. Fair trade. That's bullshit, Mom. Don't give up. Don't. It's not about me right now. We need to get your asses to Puerto Lobos. Thank you. So much, Karen. I knew what I was doing when I came to Haven Point looking for your brother. I felt it was the right thing to do. And I feel the same today. You have to stay true to yourselves. <laughs> it's hard when somebody or something gets in the way. It can get ugly. You have to find some sort of balance. Fuck the rules. We'll do whatever we can to survive. We already did. I know. You did what you had to, to protect your brother all the way from Seattle to Arizona. And I'm sorry, you had to make hard decisions to stay safe. But sometimes, you just have no other choice. Okay, this is the last roundup. Wait, let me see bye to Joanne. All right, I'm gonna go do one last checkup on the truck before you hit it. And don't forget what we talked about. It's your life, Sean. Uh, you should go see David. He has something for you. Okay. David. Oh, David. Sean. Hey. Karen said you wanted to see me? Yeah, but go grab that police scanner inside first. I gotta put these new plates on the car. Sure. Come on. I'll join you when I'm done. Place has That's right. I never saw David even drink a beer. Police camera. What is that?
Okay. How does this thing work? Okay, we gotta search between 140 and 160. Mm, don't think so. Keep scanning. Nah, nothing there. Wait, is this it? Now we can spy on the cops all the way to Mexico. <laughs> Thanks, David. You big rebel. Mom's car is all ready to roll. Did you get the police scanner? <laughs> yep. And I found the police frequency. How about that? Good job. Now, you'll always want to know what they're up to. No surprises on your way to the border. All right. This is the fastest route. When you get there, cross between these two stations. Now. You have to exit the main road and drive through the desert for a while. Mm. But Karen's car should be okay. You got all that? Hmm. Sure. I think so. Sean, you have to know. The police are on your ass. Y you only get one chance here. I'm not trying to be a dick. Just honest. I know, Dave. Thanks. Here. Have a seat. Don't mean to order you around. Bad habits die hard. And yes, I was suspicious when Karen showed up with you two. But after watching you and your little brother for a while, I think I get what you're going through. Your experience forms you as a person. And I imagine all the shit you've seen and... <coughs> Pretty much. Not comparing myself, but I had to go through my own hell. In war and at home. I didn't know how to deal with emotions or other people. Are you talking about your stepdaughter? Yeah. Some rich fucking kid shot her at school where I was supposed to protect her. Me and her hated each other on sight. But once I lost her, everything became clear. How selfish and stupid I had been. I should have listened to Chloe. Instead of being a bully. All of my fuck-ups are crystal clear now. But I'm not gonna fuck this up. Sean, I'm gonna do everything I can to help you get out of here. That's my duty now, but I want to be straight up with you, okay? Yeah, of course. 
I know you guys got screwed. That you think there's no other way out. And you're neck deep in trouble, all right. But you and Daniel can't just hide out forever. Is that how you see yourself in 10 years? You're still young. I bet they'd be lenient if you step up and face the law. We've come too far now. We just want a new life. That's it. I understand. I do. I'm trying to be the adult. You're too young to be dealing with all this. And Daniel is growing up fast. Too fast. That's what I'm worried about. You made it here. So, I know you're on the right path. <laughs> oh. Uh, sorry. I really have to take this. Okay. Hey, Joyce. Right on time. Daniel, do you copy? It's time to wrap it up. Be right there. Over. So, did you get to say goodbye to Away? Yeah. Kind of sad. I know. Are we leaving yet? We have to, and I know. Come here. Mom. I. I'm gonna miss you. I'll miss you too, Danny. It means so much to me that I got to see you. I know life has not been fair, but you're brave and strong. You're gonna make it to Mexico. Just watch out for your power, Daniel, and your big brother. Okay, Mom. Thank you. Well, Sean, this is it. Yeah. I was hung. Thanks, Mom, for being there. Thanks for letting me, son. Let's hit the road. Take care, boys.
care about that so what's the problem what what are we gonna do in Puerto Lobos we don't know anybody we're like strangers how long can we live there we want. We have a house there. That's what Dad wanted, and I know. So, what are we gonna do for money and stuff? I get a job, man. It won't be hard. You can probably go to school. Dude, I can't even speak Spanish. <laughs> How can I make friends or uh, do anything if I can't talk? Spanish. Everybody likes you, man. You'll be the cool American kid in no time. I can do that. Maybe. You fit in everywhere we go. And we'll get to hang out, too. Um... Well, that sounds okay. I guess. Daniel... I get scared, too, you know? But we'll be... We'll be fine. Okay. I trust you. Yeah. That the bird. That looks so big. Yep. Yep. Dude, it's just a giant fence. Except it won't keep us in. Up 
North Mexico. Nah, not really. Is Dad's house in Mexico going to be totally trash, or what? I'm sure it is. Whatever. Uh, That's a good project for us, right? I know. It's gonna be super easy with my power. So, here we are, Daniel. The end of the road. Finally. Let's get out of here. Nah. Yeah. Take it easy. You can do it. It's okay. It's okay. Just breathe. Shh. Breathe. The road to Mexico. We did it. Oh. Oh. We fucked that shit up. <laughs> Thanks to you. It's gonna be all right now. You've done the hardest part. Thanks for taking me down here, Sean. <laughs> nah. We did it together, man. Come on. Let's go back to the car. Oh, man. Oh, I cannot wait to go swimming in the ocean. It would be cool if we could just walk to the beach. Can't wait to go shopping. I'm dying to get some Choco Crisp. It'll be so Daniel. Oh my god. Daniel! Daniel, talk to me! Daniel! Talk to me! Shit, Madison. I told you it was a fucking kid. Get off of me! Get off of me! Well, Daniel! Is he? He's my brother! He's okay. Bullet just grazed Let him. Let me go! Do not move if you want to keep that arm. Comprende? Keep an eye on the wall. These fuckers blew it up so their friends can cross. Daniel! So what's the plan, huh? I bet there's a dozen more coming through, right? No! We're leaving! Going to Mexico, I swear! Wait, wait. You're trying to break into Mexico. <laughs> That's fucking funny.
No, it's not legal to blow up walls. That's called terrorism. You get it? Listen, it's a long story, but we really are trying to get out of here. You can fucking skateboard across the border ten miles away. So tell me the plan. You're not cops. You can't arrest us. No, but we work with them. And they sure appreciate our help. Looks like no one's coming for now. Anyway, don't waste your energy. I bet the Border Patrol has a big plan for you, mister. Madison, come on. We have to deal with this kid. No, Stop bleeding. Don't touch him. Get off. Yeah, don't move. Ugh. What the fuck? Get it off! Stop! Get it off! Jesus! What the fuck is going on? Where's Spencer? He's off duty today. Why? Listen, uh, we have a deal. He knows. Yeah, I heard about this crap. Not happening anymore. Come on, Maddie. Do what the officer says. Fuck! How old is he? He's all right, officer. Don't worry. Shut it! You're both coming with me to the station. What? Are you kidding? What? They're illegals! Fuck's sake! What I say? Uh -oh. uh, okay. Uh, uh, What's going on? Take a breath. You okay now? No. Daniel! What? Uh, I'm sorry, are you Sean? Sean Diaz? <laughs> You're under arrest. Oh my god! We were almost there! Don't look at me. This has been. See. Yo soy Diego. Mi mi esposa Carla. Y este frijolito de aquí es um, es Ángel. Oh, Ángela. Encantado. Eh, soy Sean. ¿Cómo te sientes, hijo? Um, ¿Han visto un niño de 10 años? Es mi hermanito. Suane. Nos separaron a cerca del muro. Está herido. Lo llevaron a la enfermería. Si fuera grave, una ambulancia ya habría venido a buscarlo. Si lo dejaron aquí, quiere decir que está bien. Tranquilo, amigo. Aquí no hacen daño a los niños. I hope that Campbell's almost done with the paperwork. Then we're out and we're not coming back. Ugh. I wonder how long they've been here. Fucking gross. And why? ¿Saben cuánto tiempo nos van a dejar aquí? No. Esta es la primera vez que intentan cruzar. Me acuerdo de nuestra primera vez. Casi morimos de sed en el desierto. 
I don't even know. No somos ilegales. Nacimos aquí. Intentamos llegar a México. Pues ustedes van a ser ilegales en México. What? Cuestión de perspectiva. Es la tercera I don't vez que intentamos cruzar la frontera. ¿Qué? ¿Qué? Y no están cansados de intentar. No tenemos otra opción. Y seguiremos intentándolo hasta que crucemos. Queremos darle una vida. ¿Qué? Una vida mejor a nuestro hijo. No me hablo español. Pero no es elegir la solución más fácil. Escaparse de sus problemas. En vez de quedarse y afrontarlos. No es lo que están haciendo ustedes. Tú. Más que nadie, tienes que saber que no hay ¿Qué? nada fácil en cruzar ¿Qué? desiertos y fronteras ¿Qué? para sobrevivir. No quiero desanimarte, amigo. Pero lo de México no va a ser fácil para ustedes. Es un país magnífico. Y me cuesta muchísimo dejarlo, pero... Allá va a ser muy complicado cumplir tus sueños. Ya no tengo sueños aquí. Sean, has vivido en este país toda tu vida. Yo con soy, padre no mexicano. entiendo. Y ahora los tiempos han cambiado. ¿Cómo crees que va a ser todo en el futuro? Tuve suerte que mi padre trabajaba duro, que fuimos bien integrados. Lo comprendí cuando murió, cuando me quedé solo. Lo siento mucho. Hijo, no eres extranjero. Tienes que trabajar aún más duro para arreglarte más. Así funciona. Oh shit. Enough now. It's America. We speak English. We're just talking. No, the problem is you people breaking into my country. We come here to work, not, not steal. Or live at your, at your home? Diego. No, I am so fucking tired. You only come here to cause trouble. No, nah, bro. And we bro. have to pay for your welfare. You all want a free ride. And that makes me sick. We only want work and, and, and in peace. Yes. A honest job and the ability to raise our child in a safe country. That's all we're looking for. <laughs> That's what you people always say. You are racist. Speak for themselves. Your facts are just bigotry and hatred. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I hate what you did to my country. Our borders. We have a right to protect our sovereign nation, and we will. Damn right, they do girl. know. You hunt us like, 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 like animals. I don't think I have a choice. I want the safest country for my children. See, you love your family like us. We don't go walking hundreds of miles in the desert and risking everything for no reason. We do it for our child. A mother must understand. No, you and your unborn parasite have nothing in common with me and my family. <laughs> what? Maddie. What you say? Oh, see? There you go. Take it easy. This is our Siente country. Siéntate, Solo vas a empeorar las cosas para ustedes. Tienes razón, amor. No vale nada. Whether you people lack it or not, we're not gonna give you a break. You're in jail too, loser. All right. Why are we stuck down here with them? You know us. We're helping you, goddammit! Hey, you have the right to remain silent. So fucking use it, okay? <sighs> All right. Diaz, you're up. How's my brother? Don't worry about him. Now turn around. Hands behind your back. Okay, let's move it.
All right. Sit down. Where's my brother? He's doing fine for a kid who got grazed by a bullet. Lost some blood. But he's tough. They're taking care of him at the infirmary. You want coffee? Okay. Good. Be right back. Fuck. Oh, shit. Is it morning already? I hope he's all right. Great. Now I can put on a fucking show. Of course not. No point in getting these off. There are cops everywhere. No point in getting these off. There are cops everywhere. Oh, shit. Is it morning already? Haven't seen Daniel since. How am I gonna get myself out of this mess? No point in getting these off. There are cops everywhere. Great. Now I can put on a fucking show. How am I gonna get myself out of this mess? There you go. Looks like you need it. Thanks. All right. Let's see. Hmm. Okay. Damn. So tired of all this shit. Yeah. No. Coffee's gonna make me feel so much better. At least it'll keep me up. Jeez. That's quite a crime spree. It's hard to believe what kids can do nowadays. Killing that officer in Seattle. Assaulting a gas station clerk. Caught in a, another weird explosion at a pot farm in California. Then... You join a religious commune in Nevada, and its leader is found dead short after. Hmm. And we're not even halfway down the list. One of those things you could get away with. But not all that. It sounds crazy, but I can explain. Explain it to Agent Flores. She's on her way now. She spoke to your mother who took responsibility for the church fire. She says a lot. Who cares? You don't have any proof. Don't drag her into this, okay? She's a good person. Hey, it's not up to me, kid. Listen, I feel sorry for you. I really do, but denying what you did will only make things worse. I did what I had to do. I needed to protect my brother. I know, son. But running away from trouble is never a good solution. You know, I read the report. You claim that Officer Matthew's death was an accident. So why didn't you wait for the police? I panicked, okay? Then it was too late. We were already criminals. Well, it's 
No reason to make things worse by running away, kid. Good news is, your brother's too young to be prosecuted. He'll end up with your grandparents, if they want him. But you're facing a shitload of years between bars. At least he'll get a life. Uh, what I don't get is how two kids can destroy so much stuff. I mean, anywhere you went, something blew up. Seriously. How? Those were just random accidents. Yeah, it's crazy, but it just happens around us. Can't explain it. Uh-huh. Listen. Once is an accident. Twice is luck. Three times is enemy action. Whoa! What is that? Uh, sir? I don't think you should... Keep your ass in that seat. You okay? How do you feel? I, I'm okay. Just a little headache. Dude, who cares? I took care of the others as well. Let's go. Yeah. Hey! Hey! This is Long. bullshit! We gotta go! Get us out of here! I'm scared now. I'm still here. Sean! Who are these people? Well, Carla and Diego. They came all the way from Mexico. And got Damn. thrown in jail for it. Asked for him. The others. Okay, hands oh, up! Shit! Don't oh, shoot! Hands up! Do not move! Wait! Sean! Stay back, Daniel. Let me think. Sean, what do I do? Quick, I gotta find something to stop them. We got multiple officers down! Shoot them now! They're dangerous! We will shoot if we need to! The muck, do Understand? You... What the fuck? Don't do anything stupid, kid! Shoot. Throw that locker. Saved our asses. Now, let's bail. Sean, I think our veins are in there. What? Hey, hey, hey! What did you do? You Stop. fucking murderers! Nice. Don't move. I'll be right back. Uh, okay, but be quick. Take everything away. Come on, Sean! We gotta go! Come on. We would be so dead if we didn't have Daniel's power. It freaks me. Take it out, Daniel. Alright. Alright. Time to go. Time to go. Sean, drive! To the To the border. Whew. No, nobody is chasing us. Not yet. Are we still 
going to Mexico? Yeah. Yeah. We got nowhere else to go. Sean, it's the 4th of July. Our mm -hmm. first one the one that is day. You're right. Remember how he was so in the fireworks every year? He always made us go too early so we could get a good spot. I know. He is so corny. He said he was proud to live in this country. Sean, we can't let them get us. Sean! Sean Diaz! It's over! No, uh... Don't make this work! Get out of the car! Slow! Wave your hand above your head! Do exactly what I say! In Seattle, the date Dad was shot, I think about it every day, and I would give anything to change what happened, but I can't. I'm sorry for my mistakes. I tried my best. I swear. Sean. But you were the one with the real power, and you know how to use it now. You're not a kid anymore. If we surrender, they will separate us, Daniel. And if that happens, promise me that you will be strong. Be brave. Be a fighter, Inano, like you already are. Don't say that. Let's just get out of here. How? Whatever happens, always remember how that you're Daniel Diaz. I promise, Sean. How does the story of the Wolf Brothers end? Stop uh, dying! They make it to the other side. Be careful. Yeah, boy.
Go now. Yeah, let's go home. They go in there, no. Let's go. Because I guess they are me.
the world's brothers. Game. 